Hi, I'm Fluffy McDeath. You may have seen me on the internet in such things as... Hi, I'm Fluffy McDeath. A couple of videos caught my eye this week that I just felt compelled to respond to. The first one is the Chuck Norris video. You know the one. It turns out that Chuck, 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 Chuck Norris is a chicken. You can see the fear in his eyes. Or is that acting? Nah. No, you see, he's death, death, deathly afraid that another four years of Obama could plunge America into a millennium of socialism. And for a Christian, he finds that horrifying because we know that if there's one thing Jesus Christ never said, it's be nice to poor people. So Chuck is begging all his Christian friends to come out and vote to prevent the fall of a thousand years of darkness. Obama is the dark one, you know. And I think that's an ironic position. We do remember who was in charge during the Dark Ages, don't we? It's also a staggering admission of a loss of faith. I mean, Chuck doesn't believe that his God that made the universe in seven days has enough power left in him to swing an election? Come on, Chuck. Mind you, the whole GOP has gone the same way. They don't believe God can swing an election, but that's why they have electronic voting machines. The other video that caught my eye was that Ken Ham one. Answers in Genesis, Ken Ham. The one where he lambastes Bill Nye for not knowing what science is. You know, at least the guys that did Ken's video did a nice job convincing him to do something with that scruffy facial hair he always has. It always amuses me watching him give lectures about how evolution is completely wrong while he's standing there looking like the missing link. Honestly, he's really his own best argument against his own argument. You see, Ken's basic shtick was this. He said, Bill Nye doesn't know what science is because Bill Nye doesn't distinguish between historical science, the beliefs about the past, and observational science, which is what builds our technology. I think that's pretty much exactly what he said. Now, what Mr. Ham seems to completely ignore is that all of the science that he's just talked about, the historical and the current builds our technology science, it's all based on observation. Everything is. And what we know, or think we know, is basically just inferences, inferences from our observations. We can't observe, actually see, an electron. We have inferred that they must exist because of the kinds of effects that they seem to have on other things that we can see. In fact, if you did see an electron, we have inferred, you wouldn't really be seeing an electron in any sort of way that we think of as seeing anyway. So we've made inferences about the past from observations that we make now. The whole idea that our beliefs about the past are just sort of made up out of, out of nothing and we never check them against looking at things that are going on right now is, is like saying, well that's like saying you know what went on in the past because you read a book by a bunch of really, really ancient Bronze Age. Well, actually, even then it was sort of an old story. You know what I mean. He wasn't there when that book was written. How does he know it's right? He infers it on very shaky, shaky grounds. We make observations and we infer what the past is from our observations. And we tend to make a lot more observations than Ken does when he looks in his book for answers. Answers in Genesis. Give me a break. Try answers in reality. There's a lot of reality about, you know. You should look at it sometimes.